Before the neighborhood health clinic started in 1999, I met the Lashites as I was the uh, shadowing Dr. Lashite. At first I said, who wanted to shadow a dermatologist? Well, it turned out to be one of the most warm, professionally uh, rewarding experiences I ever had. In fact, the best part of it was I was in my doctor's jacket in an operating room with Dr. Lashai when there was a knock on the door and they said, uh, Mr. Cardillo, uh, your office has called. And I said, I've been waiting to say this for a professional lifetime. Tell them I'm in surgery. Well, from that experience with Dr. Lashai, when he came into my office to discuss forming the Neighborhood Health Clinic, I couldn't wait to help him do that. However, I didn't think it was going to last. I said, how are you going to fund this thing? Well, Dr. Lashide had a unique operation. He, he, you've heard of tonsillectomies, you've heard of appendectomies. Dr. Lashide performed no ectomies on people he'd asked to volunteer. In other words, he'd ask you to volunteer and at the same time, he removed the word no from your vocabulary. And so when we got together at the Lashide's house in January of 2099, I went out in 1999, rather. Uh, there were about eight of us, and we could see how efficient Nancy was with her scroll, her yellow pad, and it was a it was a carryover from what I saw in their office, where she was chop chop, don't move around, don't mess around, just keep working. And we did. Eight of us were there. There was probably Paul Jones and myself, and Bob Peacock, the CPA, and then Tim Haynes, the pharmacist, who flew in from Texas who was Nancy's brother-in-law, as well as a couple of other doctors, Collinsburg and things like that. Next meeting we met and, uh, in February, and Paul's preparing a letter to the doctors and he, I'm supposedly helping him to make sure it's legally sufficient. And he puts in there, do, do think of when you were in medical school and the thrill of practicing medicine without having the surveillance of doctors I mean, surveillance of lawyers and things like that. I looked at him and I said, get that out of there. I'm a lawyer, I'm doing this for you guys. I don't want to see that. And he said, John, it will work. He was right. I said, all right, leave it, and it worked. So many, 250 doctors volunteered. Between Dr. Lashai and Paul Jones, the 250 doctors responded. And then we took off. And in uh, April, well, wow, 13th of uh, 99, we opened up in this little rat hole underneath the old grouper house uh, for a dollar a year that the hospital rented us. And I put a dollar down, I wrote it down, I said, here's your first rent <laughs> for the year. It is now encased in glass right next to the reception office in our office. And from what the, that one dollar to the gifts that we've had, including the $10 million gift from Dr. from Vince and Patty Foglia, I wish we had taken a picture of the dollar next to the $10 million check. I think it would have been priceless. But it represents really what have we done when in 1999 there were maybe 200,000 people in Collier County and today 400,000 people. We were 500 square feet when we started. We are at 32,000, soon to be 43,000 square feet of medical provisions for the people in Cuyahoga County, and we're all very proud of it, and we all love each other. Thank you.